Hello, all my fellow Astroneers. Thank you for joining us here again today at MT Productions for a short tutorial in the Astroneer series. Uh, today we are going to cover gateways. Uh, gateways are a way to jump around a planet very quickly once you've opened them. Uh, and there is a pillar of light in the sky there, and it is a jump gate, not some ominous alien being. Uh, now, when you find a jump gate, you can drive up to it and stroll up to it and you'll see that there's kind of a weird machinery contraption going on here and the first thing that you're going to want to do is hop out of your vehicle and run up to the jump gate uh, now what I prefer to do just for ease is to get on top uh, near the uh, what is going to end up being a power coupling pull out my tool hold down the control key and start creating a ramp at the same level as the gateway itself. Now once I've done that, I can come down, grab a, uh, a nice angle that I believe we'll be able to climb, and start generating a ramp that our uh, vehicle can, can, can climb up. Uh, I also tend to wait until I have a, a large rover and uh, even RTG sometimes to open up the gateways uh, just because I typically don't use them but if you have the need to uh, jump around quickly uh, on a planet this is one of the ways that you can do it. Um, this isn't typically covered in the tutorial it's a later game kind of thing and uh, you'll find yourself needing to uh, to open these later on uh, what I do is I just back my vehicle in I'll see if I can get up there just a little bit better and hop out and uh, as you notice there's kind of a platform there in the center and the power connection as I mentioned. Now remember that vehicles are directional in power uh, so you're going to want to take the cable from the uh, uh, from the rover and connect it directly to the gateway and when you do that the little pillars in the center will start to fall and as long as you're providing enough power over 30 seconds uh, you'll actually gain access to this portal. Uh, on Silva there's six portals, one on uh, uh, or four around the equator and then one on each pole. Uh, the ones on the equator are uh, the same distance apart so uh, basically one on the north, one on the south, one east, one west. Uh, now you notice we just opened up the portal and the power coupler went away and a new little globe will pop up in the center. Uh, when we click on and gaze into the odd stone which is unclassified material uh, you'll actually notice that a little map pops up and the gate that we just opened will light up. Uh, this is going to be known as surface elevation number five and like I mentioned there's one portal on each side of the planet plus one on the top and the bottom. Uh, one thing you'll also notice is in the center it indicates there's a core. Uh, that's actually one of the main uh, goals of the game is to get to the core and once you uh, start opening those up, you'll uh, work into the uh, in-game scenario that's part of the storyline, and uh, and you'll be able to see what happens there. I uh, won't ruin it for you too much. Uh, now on Silva, uh, there are, like I mentioned, there are six gates total. Uh, they require five units of power over 30 seconds. Uh, every gate on every planet needs you to provide power uh, over the total of 30 seconds, uh, but they do actually increase in the amount that you need as you move on. So uh, the Silva er, requires five units power uh, while uh, once you head into uh, Aatrox it actually needs 30 which is the highest. So you need 30 units of power over 30 seconds which is quite quite hard to do. Uh, this particular uh, rover I don't believe would supply that at all. I think it, it would only do about eight uh, there, were, Like we noticed, there were the six gates on this planet. There are two on DeSolo and two on uh, Novus. The moons only have a couple. Uh, that would be the key difference there. Uh, but once you open up one gate, uh, you, can, you can use it to travel to another. Now, obviously, we can't do that because we haven't opened up a gate at all. Uh, so or another gate to jump to. Uh, once you do, that will become available to you, and then basically uh, this gives you the ability to create a base on this side, create one here, here, and here, and you can gain access to the, all of the planet's particular resources. Um, in addition, uh, uh, the power requirements are going to come up uh, higher and higher, 
and then uh, as you gain access to the core, each one of those cores are going to require a particular resource to open, and then once you have the core gate, you can actually jump from planet to planet. Um, uh, that's one of the main benefits of taking the time to open up the, the gates. And even though I wait until a little higher tier to do it, just so that uh, I have my big rover and I have my RTGs and things like that, uh, you don't have to. Um, uh, a few small generators can be used on Silva. Uh, but then again, when you get into the Aatrox, uh, you're looking at 30, you're looking at 26 for Glacio, 21 for Novus, 16 for Vicinia, 12 for Kalidor, and then 8 each for DeSolo. So as you move on, even though your shuttle is small and can't carry all that power, uh, you're going to find the need to produce it or generate it once you get there. Uh, now once the gate is open, it will show this uh, little grid on the outside. Uh, it is uh, visible when you're driving by, so uh, if you're looking for gates and you see one that you've already done, you've probably gone the wrong direction. Um, now, one little tip I'll give to you before we finish up here today is if you are at a uh, at a uh, jump gate, you you really only this is one of the few times you know exactly where you are on a planet at any time. This is where the compass itself will come into uh, to play because you can then use it to travel in the exact direction you need to in order to find the next one. Uh, as we know, the equatorial gates, you can just do one full circle around the planet, and as you open each one, then you would gain access to it, and you'll be able to jump there directly. Uh, and then the uh, the ones on the poles, you can also drive a full circle or just go up a little from, uh, from one of the ones that you already have clo uh, opened. Uh, and open those up as well. So uh, one of the few times the compass actually comes uh, into use because unfortunately in the game uh, it only shows up when you're outside of a vehicle and hover over yourself. Uh, the, one of the few flaws I actually still find with this game uh, that I think they should remedy, but uh, once you're able to get around the planet you'll uh, and open up the gates, then you can jump to them and then jump from planet to planet as well. So uh, gateways are definitely something you're going to want to look into. Uh, it'll save you the hydrazine. It'll save you any other uh, uh, the regular thruster if you're only stuck on those. And uh, and then you should be set. Uh, like I say, I wait till later anyway uh, to open these because I, I like the challenge of, of building a base with what I can find when I can find it. Uh, but that may not be your style. So uh, just make sure you have yourself a rover and you can run around the planet and do whatever you need to uh, on Silva, a buggy, and three uh, small organic generators will be all that you need. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we appreciate you taking your time to uh, watch anything here from MT Productions. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, please leave them down below. And have fun out there, my astroneers. It's always fun and always uh, a good time with you.